like I don't know if I'll do another clip today but this is uh, the third clip so same game um, I believe we've run straight ahead and another team pops up here so let's look for that right so now I know okay again I am not the focus I get to shoot this guy for free um, he if he takes cover there and they start looking at me I will take cover on my side right simple game plan right and so now I'm doing exactly what I said and I'm also changing my position hmm. I guess I did that so it wasn't so obvious uh, if they're if they're watching my my side now um, look at this guy's health again they could potentially want to push that right because they know how much damage they're doing there. They know exactly that they, they're hitting um, his flesh, right? So someone did move up around here with that grenade. Uh, but I'm more concerned about this Wraith. I feel like the Wraith knows how weak he is. And my maybe my shot there, like a warning shot, is what made her not push, right? So now I so right now both my team is taking damage. So I'm assuming they are going to push. And it's my job to kind of defend. So now what I want to do is uh push them back, right? So I have to like start firing off, do some damage cuz I'm assuming they're going to be pushing and all I want is for my team to heal up, right? Cuz that's what they want to do. Right? So I don't see anyone so I, when I take the peak, I don't see anyone rushing, which means um, I didn't have to um, stay there and watch or fire back. There's no point in me shooting back um, when I'm not going to kill anyone, right? But shooting with my teammate, we could potentially get a kill together because it's, it's harder to uh, anticipate damage from two people. So let's see that again, right? So I take a look, wondering if they're rushing us. And I see that they're not. Ugh, it's hard for me to... S right? Here. So I see that no one's rushing us. So instead of challenging this guy, right? I opt to, to bag down. But this guy's challenging and this guy's challenging. So now it's a great time to shoot back. Oh, that guy did come forward. Right? And... Now, obviously, I, I had to reload, but um, I'm still very aware on how my team is reacting to this whole situation. That's that thing again where I'm not aiming at the actual target. I'm just aiming in this general area here because that's where I think he'll use. Like when he takes damage, he's going to come close to the cover. So I just do my best to shoot in that one spot. Uh, let's take a look at that. So I got one shot. And then they run. Right? So what are the things that aren't so so obvious there? Right? Let's take a look. Or what could I have done? What could I have done a little bit better? So I take take those shots there, and I'm scared of this guy. So it's good that I back up, right? But I think I think just due to the dire situation of this guy, and because I'm so healthy, I probably should still peek this this wall here instead of taking the longer safer route because um this this run here is quite you know it's quite lengthy so next time so when i when i analyze things like that um how would i make 
that makes sense to myself. Uh, so I'll be looking for when my teammates are low and they they want to clean the kill. I don't really get to... Um, I don't always get to reposition myself if I'm holding down, a, you know, the line kind of thing. And I repositioned out of habit. So next time, maybe I'll iron that out. And if it becomes a problem, right, then it will... Re From now that I pointed that out, when it happens again and um, let's say someone dies for it, you know, maybe I'll be like, oh my God, I should have been watching. Um, it will be more concrete in my mind that I can't do that, you know, because just because I came back and watched this. But it works out. I know, I know when I'm in this situation here, right? So, when they start shooting, right, I have killed the habit of peeking the, the same side. It might not be as scary as I, as I think it is, but I feel like, oh, if I peek here, they're just gonna, they're just gonna, you know, hit me. Um, so I would want to find a different angle, but no, me looking back at my teammates, right, I'm hoping this guy backs up, right? And I won't peek straight away. And I just give it some time. That Those couple seconds of them not shooting is enough for me to check to see what's happening. And that's why I come back so quickly because I know, <laughs> I know they're going to start shooting and I'm just going to just take a lot of damage, right? Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this, this part. Yeah, I don't think anything really happens here. Uh, there I go, there I go. So, I, d I don't think I'm um, in much danger here of dying. Possibly another team could come, but I'm taking the challenge on this guy because I feel like I could uh, inflict more damage on him, and I'm not too sure. Um, if my team is going to start shooting as well. And I feel like I can run before I die. One thing's for sure, if I died in this situation, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing this again in the next game or anytime soon. So I'm doing that thing where I just shoot in one area. I'm not really getting lucky. Um, but I did crack his shields before before he cracked mine and then that's it